Look at that. Oh, oh, yeah. Woo! Yeah. Woo! <laughs> All right, guys. We got a little bit of a different style video today. I'm going to be narrating this whole epic day, and uh, you'll see why later. But basically, it started off. I hit the beach right at about midnight and casted the surf for a few hours, probably about till 2:30 a.m. Not even a single bite. Uh, if you if you watch my last video, you'll have seen that striped bass that I lost. So I tried to get redemption out there and catch that one that I had lost. Uh, but just no dice that time. Little did I know, that was just the beginning of the day. So after that, met up with some friends, my dad, about 3.30 a.m. We hit the road, and uh, going to be in search of some salmon. So we hit the road and arrived at the harbor right at about, eh, I think it was about 4.30 a.m. Got all situated out the dock at about 5.15, 5, something like that. And we made a two and a half hour boat ride up north and uh, I can tell you it wasn't it wasn't a bad weather day but it definitely wasn't a calm day we were rocking and rolling I actually didn't even film any of that part uh, I wish kind of wish I had a drone shot of that that probably would have been cool it's definitely bumpy but we did make it after two and a half hours on the water uh, to the fishing grounds and that's when we started our trolling we we're trolling today for king salmon I think we were trolling in about 40 to 35 foot um, on the downriggers, and uh, needless to stay, it was pretty good action. When it started off, most of them were small fish, which is why I kind of wasn't expecting to create a video out of this day. I was thinking maybe I'd sh save this uh, footage for a stock footage for another video sometime. Oh, Still on the clip. No, okay, now it's off. Now it's off. The flasher you were using? Is that the same flasher you were using? Yeah. Yeah, so we caught a few small ones like this, three or four, and we caught some shakers as well. I didn't film everything, like I said. Uh, I wasn't really expecting to put together a video from this day, but uh, little did I know, I was deckhanding most of the day, netting fish, setting up the downrigger, you know, setting up the setups for these other guys, and uh, yeah, I finally got my shot after about four or five keepers got in the boat, and um, yeah, you'll just have to see what happens next. Oh, way out there. Look at that. I'm gonna play it neutral. Okay. Dead. I'm neutral, so we're gonna we're gonna yeah, go yeah. Ahead, No problem. This one's coming in right behind you. That's a thick one right That's there. That's a big one, boy. Look at the size of that. Is that 20? That's over yeah, yeah. 25 plus. 25? Yeah. Uh, look at how thick it is. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, it's fat. Look at the short, girth on it. Short and fat. Look at the girth, man. So that's the winner for the pool. Yeah, you. The deckhand does it again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's 
waited for that one. Fish of the day. Twenty five, yeah. That's a nice one. <laughs> That's funny. Nice fish. You guys, you two got, you two got the bigger fish. Can you take a picture? Oh. Okay. Okay. Let's get our lines back in. Twenty five point seven. We'll get some more. Okay. Nice. This is a nice oh, okay. fish. Yeah. They're all good. So yeah, needless to say, I was pretty stoked off of that catch. I honestly didn't need to catch any more fish that day. You know, I was satisfied with that one. We weighed it later, ended up weighing right around 24, 25 pounds. And uh, honestly, the pictures don't even do it justice. The girth on that thing, we measured the girth. It was 24 inches around and yeah, definitely a slug. King salmon, I filleted up. My freezer's pretty full of salmon right now, but anyway, we ended up filling out our limits. Most of the fish were actually, uh, we had a few just keepers, several fish in like 28, 30 inch range. And uh, yeah, it was a good day fishing. We ended up with our limits and we're back to the dock right around, I think one or 2 p.m. So we got to come in a little bit early. But yeah, needless to say, definitely a great day out on the water. Uh, huge thanks to Sarah Bella, Captain Tom, they're the ones who took us out and uh, got us on these fish. He definitely knows what he's doing out there. If you're looking to get on some salmon and you don't have that much experience, this guy is definitely the way to go. He, he definitely knows what he's doing. And if you want to learn a thing or two about salmon, he can definitely show you a thing or two. Uh, yeah, I was helping net the fish and set up on this day, but if you don't have any experience, he, he's a one man crew, he'll, he'll take care of it all. So I'll leave all his information linked in the description below. Like I said, his name's Tom. I think his uh, website is Fish on Fishing, and the name of his boat is the Cerebella. So check him out. If you're interested in catching some salmon, you maybe don't have that much experience, this is definitely the way to go. So yeah, that's all we have for this video. Appreciate you guys watching all the way through to the end. One last thing, if you haven't entered the giveaway for the new Ford F-150, I'm not giving it away, but Black Tip H is. I'll leave a link in the description below to that giveaway. Make sure you check it out and uh, let me know if you win. I think it'd be pretty cool if one of my subscribers won that, that giveaway. So thank you guys for watching, and uh, we'll catch you next time.